Hey guys and welcome back to another colour grading tutorial using Adobe Lightroom. Today we're going to be taking you through how to edit like the famous Instagram uh, Gypsy Lust, otherwise known as Lauren Bullen. Uh, you can go ahead and check her out on Instagram. Now she does have um, a lot of tropical sort of vibes on her channel, sorry, on her Instagram, um, but we're going to be trying to copy that today uh, using this photo here. We also have this photo and this photo to try it out on, um, but this is the one we're going to be using in the main, I think. Now, it'd be great if you guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial, if it is useful for you guys to go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. Uh, we have loads of videos like these, and we are bringing out loads of tutorials for both Lightroom and Photoshop. If you guys want to see those in the future, best way to do that is make sure and you subscribe. Uh, you can also go ahead and check me out on Instagram. This is my Instagram here and you can go ahead and check out my brother here on um, Instagram. So without any further ado, let's get started in this tutorial. So you can see here, lots of her photos have these very vibrant, colourful, saturated um, vibes. Um, so we're going to be basing our photo mainly off these top photos here. Now, okay, so we have this photo we're going to be trying out and we're going to be trying to make it look like one of these. Now, first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get the highlights and we're going to drop the highlights down so we can try and see more of what's going on there in the sky. So drop the highlights down, come over to the shadows section and we're just going to lift up the shadows so we can see more of him. So we're probably basically done really with the basics panel. We don't really want to mess around with this too much. Uh, we can bring the whites up a little bit and the blacks down if you wanted to. Maybe introduce a little bit of contrast. If you look in her photo, she has a fair amount of contrast. So we're going to drag that up to about plus 60 there. Uh, if you check out her photos here, especially this, these two, uh, you can really see um, how much the contrast is going to uh, help and increase in this photo. Plus 60 will do there, and if we drop down the blacks as well, we also introduce a lot more contrast as well. So we're probably done with the basics panel. The clarity, vibrance, and saturation we are going to come back to if needed. Uh, the second thing we're going to be doing is having a look at the tone curve. Now, we're going to use the tone curve mainly to introduce some more contrast in the photo, uh, and then possibly a slight bit of fade if you look at her photos. So we're just going to introduce a very simple S curve, nothing too major. We don't want to go too extreme, uh, otherwise it just looks a little bit strange in the photo. Um, so that's the S curve we're going to be going for, and this is her image here. You can see if you look in the blacks of her image, she tends to have a tiny bit of fade. Um, now, if you don't know how to do fade, come onto the tone curve, drag up the bottom shadows, just a touch like that. If you drag it all the way up, you can see if you look at him in the center there, you've really got um, faded out blacks, but she hasn't got much fade, so we really don't want to be adding too much into our image. Just a small amount there will probably be fine. Okay, so now we're onto the best and most important part. Here we're going to be looking at the colors of the image using the HSL sliders. Now, I think the blues need to be more aqua and they need to be slightly darker if you look at her image here. She hasn't really got these sort of um, vibrant icy blues. A lot of them are quite green, darker blues, especially uh, here and also around about here and here. You can definitely see the greens in the blues here and here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to come onto the hue slider. Um, first of all, we're going to actually come down to luminance, and I'm going to drop down the luminance in the aqua and also the blue. That's going to help us see the actual color that we've got going on in this image. Now, this image seems to have been slightly edited previously to this, um, so we've actually already got a lot of those aquas in the blue. So we're going to bring those back a touch in this edit. Um, just to kind of bring back some of the blue in those images. Now, in your case, if you're editing your photos straight from RAW out of the camera, you will probably find your blues look something like this, uh, obviously less saturated. Um, so what you want to go ahead and do is get the aqua slider, drag that down a bit, probably to about minus 10, uh, and get the blue slider and also drag that down to about minus 10 as well, maybe minus 15, um, and that will allow you to get those sort of greeny blues. Um, so don't follow directly what I'm doing here. I'm only increasing the blues and aquas because they are too green in this specific image. But like I say, you want to decrease the blues and aquas to make sure you get the same blues that she's got going on here. So I think I've probably increased the blues ever so slightly too much. I'm gonna drop that back to plus 25. Next thing I'm gonna do is come down to the saturation slider, and I think these blues are far too oversaturated for this image. So I'm going to get the blues and I'm just going to go straight ahead and drop the blues down to about minus 50, minus 60. Um, in fact, I may even go even further to about minus 70. Um, I really want to drop out some of this um, over saturation. It really doesn't make the image look very nice. Um, and then we're going to come to the aquas and we're also going to drop down the saturation there. Probably to about minus 43, I think will do nicely. We want to make sure there is still some color in the blues, but we don't want to overdo it. Now, if you look here, uh, we are beginning to get the same sort of blue that she has 
here and here. Especially here you can really see it because you've got the sort of whites going to blues that we have in our image here, the whites coming to the blues. Um, you can see she has got a slightly more greeny turquoise look which can also be achieved again by reducing the blues, dragging that further to the left if you wanted to. So I reckon about there will probably do quite nicely. Now the next thing we're going to look at is skin tone. Skin tone is a really hard one to match um, especially if you aren't in the same environment that the Instagrammer that you're trying to uh, copy the style of. I wouldn't recommend copying but if you're trying to get inspired of someone's style skin tone is a really hard one to achieve because A uh, everyone has a different skin tone and B it really depends on the lighting. In this case we're going to be trying to copy the uh, skin tone in this image here um, and employ that on our image here. Now you can see that this, uh, the guy in this photo has a very sort of um, vibrant orange skin going on in this color grade. So we're going to go ahead and come to saturation and we're going to drop the saturation in the red and also the saturation in the orange probably to about minus 50 in the orange and minus 40 in the red. Um, I just don't want to mess around with it too much. I want to make sure that it still looks realistic. Um, one thing you could do is come into hues and you could drop the red hue ever so slightly to about minus 15. You don't want to do too much of the red hues and the orange hues simply because it's quite easy to make the image look like it's been um, weirdly doctored and it's not actually realistic because skin tone is one of those things that if it's ever so slightly wrong you can really tell it's been over edited um, and you can see in her style you can really see in her style um, there's not too much over editing going on you can definitely tell there is something going on but it's not a major stupidly crazy color grade. Um, so I reckon we're probably done with the HSL slider now. Um, we're not going to have anything done with the purples and magentas simply because there are none of those colors in our photo. Uh, in your photos there may be but you probably just want to leave those as they are. Um, saturation with the yellows, we can probably drop the yellows down slightly as well uh, and the greens. I'm going to drop the greens down to about minus 66. I really don't like there being too much green in any image that I have. Um, you can see here also if you look at her greens they are very desaturated in the background it's hard to see but you can really see here as well they're sort of faded out and slightly desaturated but that all depends on what you're going for in your image so we're going to go ahead and we're going to close up the HSL panel there and we're going to come to split toning. Um, now split toning is allowing us to introduce a color into the highlights. So if I press alt on my keyboard and drag this slider along you can see these are all the colors we can introduce and then you can introduce um, how much of that color by using the saturation slider and the same happens with the shadows as well. Now if we come over to her photos, we try and look at the whites here and compare it to the white on Instagram, uh, it's very very similar. The white is basically the same. Um, in some cases you can see she adds some blues into the highlights, uh, maybe some pinks as well. Um, but really not a lot happens to those highlights. You can see here it's a slightly yellowy pinky um, color up there and blue on this side. So it depends on the time of day. Uh, in this case we got the photo taken basically midday so we're going to get the highlights. We're going to press Alt on our keyboard. Oops, Alt on our keyboard. We're going to drag that slider all the way along and we're going to go for something we don't want to go, I don't want to go too blue because if I start to do that the image just overblows with blue. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to introduce um, a little bit of a warmer colour into the highlights so we're looking around the reds and pinks. So either 360 or we can come back to the bottom here and have a look at around 17. I reckon 17 is probably a good bet. If I turn that off um, and then turn it on again it's a very slight subtle change. You can then introduce more if you want to so I reckon we're going to stick with around 20%. Um, as for the shadows, again if we come over to her image, the shadows are um, quite dark brown faded colors. If you, The way to work it out is to look at the darks, uh, the blacks in the image and just kind of get an idea, sense of what colors they are. You can see here it's a sort of browny look going on uh, in the shadows. So again we're going to come over to the shadows, press Alt on our keyboard and drag the slider up to somewhere where we're looking at something brown. Um, now I reckon around plus 20 is the dark redsy browns that we've got going on in the shadows and I'm just going to drag the saturation up to about 13%. There, so if I turn off the split toning you can see how that has affected the overall image and then if I turn it on again 
you can see how it just warms it up ever so slightly. Um, you can mess around with split toning for hours on end if you really wanted to, um, but really those are the colors we're probably sticking to in this edit. Now if I press the backslash key, you can see the before, and then you can see the after that we have got. So we've made it look a little bit more sunset kind of vibed. I'm really kind of liking the way this image is going. There's really not a lot more that we can do to this specific image. One thing you could try is come down to camera calibration. Now sometimes uh, if you want to aim for a more tropical look, you can introduce what's known as red, uh, sorry, what's known as teal and orange. Now the way to do that is get your red primary hue slider and drag that up to about plus 40 would be nice. And the blue slider primary, you want to drag that down to around minus 43, minus 40. Um, so these numbers here really want to be equal in the positives and the negatives. Um, so plus 30 and minus 30 or plus 40 and minus 40, um, etc. So then you can come in and you can drop the saturation of each individual one. Um, again, I don't want to drop the red primary too much just because that just blocks out the blues of the image. Uh, and then the blue primary, it just kind of reduces the amount of blues in the image. But I think that's probably good now. I don't really want to mess around with this too much more. But if I press the backslash key and the, uh, so you can see the before and the after, we've really kind of made that image look a little bit more like her style. So the best thing to do now, once you've done that, if you're happy with the color grade, you want to come up to presets here, you want to press plus and you want to just name this preset. So I'm going to name it Lauren Bullen. Lauren Bullen 1 will be fine and I'm going to put that in a new folder. Now this preset, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a preset pack for this whole color grade. Uh, if you want to purchase that, the link will be down below in the description and there will possibly be a discount code next to it that only runs for a few days after this video has been released. So it'd be great if you guys want to go and check that out down below. Um, it would be awesome to go and check out some of our other products as well. So next I'm going to come onto this photo here and we're going to see how well this preset works with another photo. So the photo has loaded now. If you want to go ahead and apply your preset, Presets, you come over to the preset panel here you're going to scroll down to where your preset is and if you hover over it you can see in the top left there you kind of get an idea of what the image is going to look like so if I select that and wait for it to apply onto the image you get this look now so once you've done that we've got the basic look going on and then you can come in and you can lift up those highlights drag up the shadows some more increase the exposure um, maybe drop off some of the whites um, <clears throat> and then what you could do is you could also adjust the blues here if you want to make the blues slightly more vibrant drag up the slider here and you can possibly just drag down this and you know just mess around with it until you get the look that you want um, brighten up the sky so the reason this image is so dark is because in the previous image the blues were very bright so we came into the HSL panel came down to luminance and you can see we dropped both the blues and the aquas so you can go ahead and increase the blues and you can go ahead and increase the aquas you can then also increase the saturation in them if you want just to kind of bring out some more of those colors um, again with the skin colors as well you can mess around with but I think that's probably as close as we're going to get to the color grade today so that's the before and that's the after now okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually increase the uh, amount of teal in this photo just by dropping down the blues a little bit more um, I'm then going to come up to the tone curve and I think she has actually a lot more fade in the photos than you than you think when you first look at them just judging by what I've done here putting a small amount of fade on hasn't really given the exact look so I'm going to go ahead and increase a little bit more fade into the image maybe even a little bit more than that just to really bring out that fade in this image. So that's it guys, I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Um, I hope that this um, helped. And if you guys did enjoy this tutorial to try and get this look in the top three images, you can see we've kind of got there in this color grade. I will link this down below if you want to go ahead and download this preset pack, it will be on our website. Um, but again, if this tutorial if this tutorial was useful, it'd be great if you could go and subscribe and check out some of our other videos. I'll see you in the next one. Live long and prosper.